Okay, you guys, we are taking a look at the art form that is called micrography. And micrography is basically a drawing technique in which um, implied line, value, shape, and texture are all rendered using text or words, in other words. Um, the lightness or the darkness of the value can be altered by adjusting the height, width, and proximity of the text. To get lighter values, the text can be large and spread out with lots of space in between the letters. To achieve darker values, the text can be small and tight with very little space in between the letters. The closer the text is together, the darker the, uh, the value will appear. Overlapping the text is vital to achieving the darkest values. Textures can also be created by varying the density, location, and distribution of the text. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to create what's called a block value scale. You're gonna use your name as the text um, for this worksheet practice. So to create a block value scale that each block shows a progression of values from dark to light, um, sorry, my worksheet says the other way, the lightest block, we're only gonna write our name once, possibly not even writing the whole thing um, with the letter spaced out, big, lots of white space showing. And then as we move uh, along in our boxes here, we're gonna get denser and denser and denser um, with our writing. Then we'll do a value scale that shows a smooth transition, um, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So the first thing that I want you to do is, obviously you don't have this worksheet in front of you right now. Um, so what I want you to do is open up to a clean page in your sketchbook and I would like you to draw in a, um, a block value scale just using some type of straight edge or you can freehand it, it doesn't uh, matter to me. So we're gonna do the block value scale and then we'll do a transitional value scale right under it. So you can pause the video if you need to, to do that. I would also like you to write at the top of your sketchbook page, um, SB uh, micrography techniques, All right? So let's get started. To do a block value scale, the goal is actually to show a transition of values from the lightest to the darkest and several in between. Now, um, <clears throat> the best way to start off with this is to think about your name, what letters you have, and how you might place them in the box. Um, you can have a couple of rows of it if you want to, um, which is what I'm going to show you. And basically, you're going to take your name and you're going to write it pretty big. And it doesn't even have to completely fit on. I can repeat my letters just like that. Okay, and here I've got a lot of space in between them. My text is actually really large. And so it's giving a fairly light value. I'm gonna put lightest here and darkest here. Now, as I move on in my boxes, I am going to get darker and darker. So what that means is that I have to start um, reducing the amount of empty space or negative space in my uh, in my box. And so my letters are going to be closer together. Just like this. Now in our project, you can actually um, 
choose a poem or a Bible verse or um, music lyrics, um, something, a, a, a some text from a book, you know, or even text that you have written yourself, which would make it so much more personal. So you won't just be writing your name over and over and over again, like I'm doing here. All right, so we can see we're getting a nice progression of values. This next one, I am gonna go in two directions and another direction as well. So I'm gonna start off. Okay, you guys, so you can see that there is a nice progression of values from lightest to medium tones to darker values. Now, I could even make this a little bit darker by going back and rewriting my name to try to fill in some of these white spaces. Um, and if I was working on my project, I would absolutely um, do that. If I needed an area to be dark, then I would um, go back and rewrite whatever it is I need to rewrite to get the darkest values. For the, um, the value scale, what our goal is, is to have a nice transition of values, um, like is shown here. And we wanna do it from lightest to darkest. So basically you're doing this, but then it, with a block scale, there is a abrupt change in the values. It goes from light to light, medium, medium, dark, medium, and dark. And what we want to have happen is we want these in-between areas to kind of blur and be a little bit more of a uh, seamless transition like is in right here. So um, best thing to do, again, is to start off with your name um, large, and then you're going to go smaller, just like you've done um, in the other one. Go smaller and closer together. You may have to start repeating your name at, that po at this point can do all caps you can you know switch it around and so until um going back and forth between script and um all caps i'm going to switch to um lowercase because i think it starts to um get actually a little bit darker now also the um, how much pressure you're putting if you're going to use a pen how much pressure you use on your pen um, definitely does make a difference okay so i'm going to let you continue that out until you've got a nice full values of like this again and now what we're going to do is um we are going to uh, take a look at the bottom here. 
and shading forms, okay? So remember, whenever we're shading something, we need to know where the light source is. So we're gonna pretend that we've got a sun right here shining down. Our highlights are gonna be over here on this side. Our shadows are gonna be on the other side. So we should have an area of complete white where the highlight is, an area of light, medium, dark, medium values. Um, and then we'll also have our darkest values kind of through the shadow area and through the cast shadow that is on the, um, the surface. Um, so biggest thing to remember is that you always want to make sure that your text is following the contour of your object. So if you have an object that is rounded, like a face or an eye or a nose or you know something like that, then um, you want to make sure to remember that it is three dimensional and that these are raised areas. And the way that we're going to show that those are raised areas are going to be through the curvature of the line. Now on a flat surface, it's a little bit easier because you want the text to all go kind of in the same direction. It's all gonna be in a line instead of um, being curved. That will help to give the illusion of a flat versus a curved surface. So remember, if our highlight is kind of in this area right here, we wanna have some light text around it. So I'm just gonna write my name very, very lightly around it. Start again like that. And then as I go out around it, then I'm gonna start to get um, darker and closer together. I'm gonna have to turn my paper as I go around in order to help show the contour. But also remember that I'm trying to get a little bit darker as I go away from my highlight. So you're gonna be constantly turning your paper uh, in order to follow the contour of wherever it is that you are have chosen to do for your uh, project. So remember in the five elements of shading that we want to have this area that's a little bit darker and then it's going to get lighter to be the reflected light on the other side of this. So we can see that uh, here we've got the, um, the five elements of shading. We've got our highlight, we have our shade, which is the lighter portion, um, medium, uh, medium dark, again, uh, kind of medium light again, and then um, our darkest values for the cast shadow down here. All right, these will be easy. Um, I want to keep the front of this pretty light. Oops.
All right. Notice that I tried to keep my text in the long in line with the major outlines. So these are going at an angle. All of these are following the same angle right here. The front is following the major lines right here. I could have also done them vertically, but I chose to do these horizontally. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to draw a circle and a cube, and I want you to apply uh, micrography shading to both of these. 